Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today we're gonna to be checking out the B&W Patriot 18K sliding fifth wheel. The whole purpose of a sliding type fifth wheel hitch like this one here is to allow us to get more cab clearance essentially. And so you're gonna find these a lot in short bed type trucks, right? Because in short beds, this will sit a little bit closer up to the cab and not give us that extra clearance that we need. That way when we, uh, you know, are trying to make real tight turns at the campsite or maneuver around into a parking lot or something like that, um, what we wanna avoid is keeping this in this fixed position, making that tight turn and end up crashing our trailer into the cab corner of our truck, right? Not good. So with this setup, uh, when you, you know, run into that type of situation, you're able to slide this back It'll give us an extra 12 inches of clearance and allow us to make those tight turns and not have to worry about uh, any collisions up here. So the way this is gonna work, uh, whenever the hitch is forward and locked in, that's your towing position. But whenever you get to where you're going and you need to make that turn and realize you need more space, what you're gonna do is lift up on this handle and that'll unlock it. And then what we can do is get in the truck will pull forward. You want to make sure that your trailer's tires are chalked and everything or the brakes are set. We'll pull forward and that what that'll do is allow this to slide back and lock into place giving us that extra space. So as you've just seen, uh, you know, that gave us about another 12 inches of clearance there. So now we can confidently maneuver around in those tight spots and not have to worry about making uh, cab clearance uh, or having any cab clearance issues. Now, this isn't the only product to accomplish the same thing, okay? There's other things you can do. Maybe you're not too crazy about the thought of having to get out and, and do this and slide this back. You know, maybe you uh, go into tight spots a lot. There's other things that can uh, get the job done too. So for example, you can change your actual pin box like this one here, this is a Reese Sidewinder and the pin box will actually rotate and whatnot to give you that clearance. Now, uh, we're just doing this for demonstration purposes. This is the only fifth wheel we had on the lot here today. But if you have a sliding type hitch like this one, you're not gonna wanna use that with a rotating type pin box like the Sidewinder, okay? You only need one or the other. But like I said, we're just working with what we had, wanted to demonstrate how this actually slides and everything else. Um, there's another solution too. There's auto sliders that, um, you know, slide automatically whenever it feels the need to. Um, if you don't want to have to get out of the truck, it's really just all, all on uh, what you're looking for. Me personally, I kind of like the thought of this. It, it slows you down and you know for sure you have that clearance. You know, it's not that big of a deal. Want it be to me every now and again to have to do this just to have that, that confidence knowing, hey, slowed down, this is where it needs to be, and I can make those turns without having any issues. Whenever you're done making that turn, you always wanna put the hitch back into the towing position or all the way forward. So all you're gonna do is keep the camper's uh, brakes locked or wheels chalked, lift up the release handle, and then simply just back up until it locks back into place. So a pretty straightforward system on how it works and, and uh, trying to figure out how to use it and everything. Not really a whole lot to it, which simplicity is good, at least in my opinion. Um, and if you're familiar at all with the, the towing world, you've probably heard of the B&W name. There's a reason for it. Uh, these things are very well built, super solid. I always recommend B&W products. They fit good uh, and they work like you'd expect them to. And they're made right here in the USA. So. That's always a, a bonus. Don't come across that too often anymore. As far as what this will work with, um, any industry standard type rails, above bed rails. So in our truck today, we have a B&W kit, which is what I recommend if you're setting up something new. Um, if you happen to have different rails, you know, whether they're Reese or Kurt or all the other big names, um, this will work with it more than likely. Like I said, all these rails are pretty much the same, industry standard. This will drop in. Um, you know, they give you some pins to lock in the hitch and you'll be good to go. This particular hitch is going to have an 18,000 pound maximum gross trailer weight rating. So the amount of weight that's going to be pulling on the hitch, 
Uh, so that's the weight of your trailer, plus anything you might have in or on it. Um, and a 4,500 pound vertical load limit, which is the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch. Uh, I do always like suggest so, never a bad idea. Grab your truck's owner's manual, check in there, make sure you can handle that much weight safely. If you don't need something as heavy duty as this, I believe there's 16 uh, K versions of this as well. Um, so that's always an option for you. And one of the things about this setup too, is the head, all right? So the head articulates a little bit, you know, moves back and forth. And so that's just gonna make hooking up a little bit easier when you're on uneven ground or if you don't have your, um, your trailer set just right. You know, this has some, um, has some give in it, if you will. So that got some more wiggle room to work there as, as far as getting it hooked up goes. And the jaw mechanism. So what actually grabs onto your trailer's kingpin is a little bit different than some of the others as well. All right, so we're gonna have a full 360 degree contact around our kingpin. And this is super thick steel. Um, it is no joke there. And because of that full contact, what that's gonna help do is prevent some of that clunking or chucking that you would get, right? That kingpin, there's not as much room in there uh, to not as much slop in there for that thing to kind of bounce around and create a bunch of noise whenever you're towing. So uh, that'll help out a lot as far as that goes. And there's something else that'll help out with that too. So the head is actually removable. And when you pull that off, that's going to expose some polyurethane bushings here. So these will help absorb, you know, some of that road noise, some of that shock and bumps, and uh, overall just help you know, make it a little more of a comfortable and quiet towing experience. Being that the head is detachable with relative ease, uh, that's also gonna help you out whenever you wanna take this out of the bed of your truck. So if you got, you know, you gotta put luggage or whatever back here, you need the full bed space. This will help lighten it up a little bit. Uh, with that said though, this thing is still no joke. It's pretty heavy, definitely takes uh, two people, or at least I would suggest having a buddy give you a hand to uh, put this in and out. But you know, makes it a little more manageable. So uh, what's there to complain about there as far as that goes? And that's gonna kind of bring me to my next point. Being that this is so heavy, a lot of people just wanna leave them in here, right? But they, they also wanna keep them protected because it's, it's a, definitely uh, an investment uh, that you wanna keep in good shape. And so what a lot of people do is, is uh, wanna put a tonneau cover on, like our uh, neighbor here today. And every truck's gonna be a little bit different. I've done a lot of these hitches though and never really ran into an issue as far as clearance goes. So we have our hitch in the, in the medium position as far as height goes, we'll get to that in a minute. But even in that position and a ton of cover that sits flush, so it sits a little bit lower, we still have clearance there, right? I could probably put it in the highest position and, and still be able to get away with it. If not, take the head off, you know, store just the head or whatever, bungee it inside of the bed of the truck uh, and, and, and still be able to get this closed up with, without really uh, too much of a headache there. So I talked about that height adjustment and these pieces here, you're actually able to set low, medium or high. That's at least what I call them. So you have three adjustment points. So, you know, if you got it all the way down, that'll set your head approximately 17 inches above the bed one up is 18 inches, the highest one is 19 inches. So you can kind of fine tune it and have some adjustability in terms of, uh, you know, allowing you to hook up to your trailer and it ride as level as possible. I did forget to mention too, uh, kind of going back to keeping this protected, um, if you don't want to deal with a ton of cover or anything like that, there's actually bags or covers available too that can go over this, you know, give it an extra layer. Um, totally up to you. Uh, the weather shouldn't be too hard on it regardless. It does have a powder coat finish, uh, which I like. I think it looks cool. You know, it's thick. It's uh, this, this gray color, you know, matches just about any truck and uh, kind of makes a statement, you know, uh, at least in my opinion. But other than that, I mean, just the overall usability of this, it, it just works. You know, it's, it's high quality. All the levers are smooth. You know, this slides back and forth easily uh, with very little re resistance. Everything locks into place. It just does what you want it to do. You know, you're not going to be fighting with this thing. I know some of the other um, lower end ones, it sounds like a good idea at the time when you decide to pick it up, but then 
in the real world when you're having to deal with it every day and or whenever you're out trying to enjoy yourself it just turns into a headache so getting a high quality hitch you know it does go a long way and uh, makes your towing experience that much better at least in my opinion so um, if uh, you're someone that's looking for a sliding type fifth wheel hitch this is one to uh, definitely consider and you really can't go wrong with it